guys welcome back to a new netrunner video this is silent boss i'm very pleased to be here once again for a new video so today i was you know i really had no uh new ideas for any decks that i uh wanted to play here or wanted to develop i haven't designed any decks but i have some ideas in mind probably uh, for thursday uh video we will have a designing deck video and yeah so I was checking out the Netrunner and I uh, crossed, uh, well, saw this uh, Banker Steve build that I've been seeing quite recently. And well, uh, this deck got first at East Anglia Regional with a record of 5 to 1. Let me uh, remove my camera right now. It was developed by Kike and it was published uh, 22nd of September. So this deck, uh, I mean, obviously uses uh, the Bankard card that, you know, lets you eat through ice pretty much. And, oops, sorry, that isn't the button. And well, it has other cards that are uh, interesting, like Steel Skin, uh, Strike Fund, you know, just being wary of that net damage. Uh, it uses Wake Implant, Paragon, Docklands, Boomerang. Uh, it actually has a diversion of funds play uh, and it has sneak door beta. So, yeah, this is a very interesting um, deck, and we will see how we do with it. I really am not a big, uh, you know, runner, obviously, uh, player, but I will try my best. Uh, Steve is actually an ID that I think it's not very hard to understand the plan i mean it's pretty much just you know go to hq go to hq go look at uh, your agendas on hq maybe on r d sometimes and you know get things back like bravado things like that and well let's see how we do on our first match here <sighs> oh my god what is this id as additional costs oh right Right, so yeah, this will be interesting. This um, this card really counters me one hundred percent. And well, this is what it is, I guess. So this is Earth Station. Uh, good luck, have fun. Oh, I didn't ask. Well, it's gonna be really uh, awkward if he says no. I might just have to play this out of respect and don't include this, so yeah. Oh, fine, perfect, thank you so much, man. So we have Baserton, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that, as the runner, and well, let's just uh, see what we can do right now. So let's install that. Uh, oh, I want to have to send uh, CNET back. Let's see what we draw. Okay, so I can actually install. Wow, I'm not sure. What is Cat's Cradle? Is two, three, one. Uh, maybe playing Strike Fund, installing uh, Cat's Cradle. I'm really not sure. Uh, let's just do this and let's go uh, R&D, I guess. Well, playing Paragon was actually interesting too. But that's fine. Let's go and breach. Or... Yeah, so let's pay to steal and trash. Uh, do I have two? I have two Tremolos. Well, I guess Cat's Cradle is not that important. And yeah, let's, uh, I mean, 
uh, I mean, in, <laughs> I was, I'm very speechless. This is a very interesting idea. But at least I had the choice of, of you know, me stealing the SSD, SDS. I had the choice to, to kind of decide what program to trash. And I mean, Cat Cradle it for Code Gate. A Code Gate is most probably not gonna detain me. And yeah. Let's see, Earth Station Ascending Orbit 3. That is a very interesting deck. So, yeah, let's. Let's put these on here. Okay, that's fine. That is no problemo. Oh, uh, of installed hardware. Okay. Hard choices. It really is. It's level four. Too so, well. That's okay. I guess he can trash the piece of hardware, right? It was just one cost. Let the uh, unbroken fire. Uh. Nah, let's just, you know, let him trash it. And yeah, let's go. So let's reach server. Yes, let's... Uh, I'm thinking probably between Strike Fund and Sure Gamble. Is fine and let's see uh, what he decides obviously I think all right oh I want to say yes oh I click no for a second there and I was very scared all right so hey what are you gonna do Okay, so the good news is that I can draw once. Probably Docklands Pass is a uh, is a good card to have. All right, moving to server one, I'm guessing. Oh, if this is an actually an SDS will destroy me. Oh, well, it's not. At least I I have that. Okay, subliminal. You know, make my life harder a little bit. A diversion of funds would go really hard here. And yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's draw once. Okay, we can arrest a Winchester. Uh, oh, it didn't trigger. Let's go HQ. HQ, hello. Game. Allow me. Let's fully break this. Let's breach. Let's choose. Uh, I'm probably thinking between 
Syndicate and Paragon are probably my... Again, I don't play Runner. I really just saw this deck and, you know, wanted to play it. So excuse me if I don't make the most optimal choices. And uh, let's see. I got Archer and Sprint. Interesting. So I'm saying gain a credit, probably. And yeah. Well, I don't think that's an agenda, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like an agenda. Seem. Very important uh, to note that. Oh, and yeah. Do, do, do I have um, Hermes here? By any chance? Nope. Mm. All right. Yeah, so there's that. I can get a uh, Bravado would be cool. That's three, so I need a little bit more for that. I need another credit, if I'm not mistaken. Now I can run HQ. Go. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. I forgot the forgot the ability of the ID. I don't want. Okay, I will undo. Yeah, this is gonna be a pretty hard match. But I mean, oh well. What can you do here? I don't think I want to get anything back. Oh, shit. Nah. Nah, thank you. Archer. And Crisium Greed. Okay, so no agendas in hand. Most probably. And damn. This is a very hard deck I'm, I'm uh, facing against right now oh, mm, what should I do what should I do boo, 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 boo. okay so R&D is uh, very all right that's probably archer question mark archer trashes programs right so yeah i really don't know what i'm doing so let's go to archives to win some money and let's install a revolver another one i'm guessing uh, damn this is gonna be hard so i'm hoping to hit well i can make it hit uh steel skin if i ins i if i uh, but I need to make a successful run on HQ, that's the thing. Yeah, this is hard. I don't know how I'm gonna get through all of this. Another subliminal. The this ID is very interesting. I haven't seen it in a while. I think I might do a deck with this uh, ID soon. Oh well, let's go r and I guess. Let's see what the future holds for me. 
That's a hammer. I can use my revolver. I really, I just don't want the, uh, I think I don't want the, no, the tag is fine. I think I don't want the, the, tr the, uh, yeah, the hardware. So let's just fire. Yeah, continue. Let's see, maybe another hammer? Wouldn't be that devastating. Afshar. Oh, but that dents the run, right? Yeah, it dents the run. And it actually makes me lose money. Well... Yeah... I don't think I need... Uh, I really don't love diversion, but... Yeah, let's just... Can I flow, flow the tag? Do we think this is on end of the line? Unlikely, I would say. But I really don't have the money to... To just allow that. And I need to pretty much break Winchester fully. So I guess I can boomerang on the second dice, gain one credit, and run HQ and see what happens. So I saw Crisium Grid. What does that do? I didn't even read the card. Let's see what it does. A chopper is passing by. That's weird. But hey, it, it happened. Uh, so let's go HQ. I think that's the first course of action. What is this? Okay, so there's an agenda. Oh, come on. So there's an agenda. I can gain one credit to put this here Brown HQ I guess and just hope for the best What can I die? I think I can die, right? I won't But I will not be able to cross over Which is fine. I mean, it's all right. Uh, that's gonna We're gonna pass that we're gonna encounter that ice And yeah, we have to We really have to I'm gonna breach Declared successful, okay How much is it five wow That's a uh... Amazing. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so my Steve... Um, my Steve ability is completely shattered. I think this is GG. I don't want to waste anybody's time right now. And I'm just gonna call it a defeat. This was a... Uh, a very hard, what is this? Transport Monopoly. Huh. Yeah, this is a very um, Steve uh, counterplay. And nothing more to it. Well played, man. And I will see you guys on the next game. Hey guys, welcome back. We have an overdose as the runner. And let's see what we have here. So, hmm. This is a very interesting hand. I'm gonna keep it since uh, I have net damage protectors and it's a 
well, it's a personal evolution, so you know how the match will run. And let's just uh, let's get our things uh, back up. I'm guessing that uh, it could be a lot of things, but I need to I need to check this. And like I said, I have a lot of protection. So I'm just gonna install my uh, my tremolo to not lose it to net damage and run server one. If it's something that hurts me, well, I'm gonna suck it up. And I'm hoping it it actually strikes. I think steel skill scaring is is a little bit better. I want card draws right now. And yeah, let's trash that spin doctor. Let's draw once. And alright, I can just ignore that tremolo entirely. And let's see what else drops on the table. Ah, it doesn't want to end the run, end the run, end the run. Come on, Jinteki. You can do it, man. You can do it, uh, machine. I don't... Why, why do I assume it's even a hit uh, server thing? So as you can see, I changed the background. Uh, I remember where I used to work uh, a couple of months back. I had these. I found an image of like a playmat of like cybernetic attacks and hacking and things like that, and I put that as the uh, background, and it looked really cool. But I couldn't find it when I got home, and since I don't work there anymore, well, yeah. But it was really cool. I, I'm, I'm still trying to find a good um, like background image for the game. And yeah, I mean, so this is a mitosis deck, which can be uh, really hurtful. Like that, I will gain two credits and I cannot do anything else. But I can, well, I can class act, which I think will save me from a lot of, of horrible things. And I think I will actually, I actually have kind of a play here. Diversion of funds on HQ is really fun. Especially after that play. So I can just diversion of funds. Get back a, uh, well, a strike fund or a sure gamble is fine. Okay, so let's diversion of funds. Let's run here on R and D, uh, let, and let's install Bankar. Oh yes, 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 and Bankar out. So that Urika Cipher was a huge blow uh, because obviously I don't want him to have any mitosis um, objectives. Uh, Targets, that's the the word and another mitosis will drop on the table and I have to access one No, wait, that wasn't a mitosis. Oh, that, sorry. That was a sim simulation reset Huh Interesting card. I haven't seen it actually before So I am very very sure that server 2 is not an agenda And yeah. Yes. And I mean, I died to what? A Fuji, maybe? Yeah, let's just go for it. Famous last words. I know, right? Uh, Paragon, okay. Okay, no, I want that. Oh, see? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? And I actually lost it. <laughs> that is that. But hey, I got a Blood in the Water, which is a very cool uh, target. And I think I will actually use Steel, uh, steel Skin. Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. Can I actually beat it? Wow. So let's use steel skin. I'm guessing to survive this shit. Uh, hello game. Okay, so let's draw two cards. Well, this wasn't as disastrous as I thought it would be. And well, yeah. I don't know if that was a uh, bad draws or what, but yeah, very low on money. I am probably one uh, agenda from of you know away from winning the game, and that was very unfortunate. Let's skip straight to the next match. All right, guys, welcome back. We have RSH as the corporation. So let's jump straight to the game and you will have to bear with me. Uh, uh, what? I have no choice. Uh, okay, so it actually... Let's mulligan this hand. Well, this is eh, not the best, but hey. I'm gonna piece this... Uh, this fellow up most probably and I have to face check HQ I just have to you know to make this uh, okay what could be what could this be I think this is an over the moon PD a drafter okay interesting Interesting. So nothing got installed. Oh yeah, something got installed. Okay. Okay, so I will actually... Diversion of Font HQ. I know, it's a drafter. You know, not, nothing. But right now, the drafter is very very innocuous and with the money that I steal I can actually trash server one that I'm thinking it's probably spin doctor or something like that oh well uh, I can no longer do anything what am I talking about I have no clicks left well at least I can stop on a 3-1 uh, agenda to be installed and okay a manic arm it's installed and that's why I went to you know uh, tell me to go F myself. And... Okay. There's that. Let's see what server 1 is. The worst case scenario is probably a Regolith. But I think that it's most likely... Well, a Rashida is also bad. Kind of. Even if I would have landed the uh, diversion of funds, Rashida would have been fired. So, hey. Well, I, I could have trashed it if I had one uh, extra click. But, I mean, what is done is done. And, yeah. So, this is gonna be... What is this card? Ah, okay. Yeah, this is a... Um, Over the Moon PD. Okay, so Manigarm is on HQ, which is fine. I mean, I obviously want to reach HQ, but I don't think it's gonna be that hard. Especially since when I draw a uh, Bankar, it's gonna be fine, I guess. Let's just. Uh... Okay, I have kind of a wild theory here. And I don't know how smart is is it from me to you know let uh, PD install something, but I think I need the money. Okay, I'm gonna face check. 
Well, I can't face anything. I need to spend two clicks to begin with. That's diversion of funds. And that's my turn. So, greasing the palm is gonna get played. So, the runner will have. Okay, so your digital life might come in handy here. It's probably got one there. I mean, it's a lot of cards. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Your digit? No, that was a hedge fund. Okay. So I need a lot of things. Uh, let's draw the cat's cradle is okay let's just try to find something else all right that's a uh That's a 5-3 agenda then. Oh, that's a luminal. Okay. So, three clicks? I think it, it is. Yeah. Alright. So, next turn I'm probably gonna sure gamble, cat's cradle, face check, R&D. And on my last click, probably reinstalling class act. Okay. Okay, so a boomerang would be cool. So that's an agenda. Most probably than not. Um, predictive, okay. Trying to find that your digital life, I think it's gonna be, get found. Here, maybe? Okay, that looks like a spin doctor, maybe. That's a money arm. So, hey. What should I run? Maybe server 2 to, you know, get the face check value? Maybe R&D. Let's see. There's not many things that scare me. But things like a hammer, maybe. But I know this deck. This really doesn't have anything like very killy, very net damagey. Wow, so... Whoa, so Anuetic Void. Well, it is very aggressive then. Okay, I don't need another class act. Well, actually, I don't need another cat's cradle. That's what I should have trashed. But hey, I was too quick. Now, server 2 can be an Anuetic Void, but I think it's a Manigam skunk, skunk work. I need to get my bank card down ASAP and if I can, you know, possibly find um, a boomerang or at least my barrier breaker. Uh, this is going to be, it can be a lot of things. It could be a midnight. No, that's a uh, what? Arctic. Okay, probably a piece of ice is gonna get installed and rest. And now I'm at a lost point. So Anoetic Void will be installed on server 2.
Oh, it got installed from... Oh, from archives. No, no, no. I'm, I'm lying. It's probably gonna get back one... Seamless launch? This is a manic arm. I am now sure of that. So this is not really shoot the moon. PT, this is something else. And that is an agenda there. So hey, let's uh let's run server two. Because I want him to spend some money, but... Yeah. He can probably not rest any ice and use just use the anoric void. But uh, I don't I don't really know what else to do. Oh, an MIC. Okay. Should I break it? Oh, that doesn't seem very smart. And I think that's GG, actually. Because of the, um, what is it called? Seamless launch. Maybe not. What do I have here? I can, I mean, if I go to HQ, I can probably de-res MIC and cost, you know, the runner a lot of credits. That's my guess, but what else can I really do? So server 2 is fine. I can just go server 2 now. I get some core draws at least if I hit the uh, world steel skin, which I think I need for a boomerang. And let's not forget that if he does trashes MIC now I my banker is on the top server of of server two so I get a free free pass. So let the fire unbroken. Let the through routines fire. Let's draw two cards. All right, I don't think I'm going to be accessing uh, that server too much. So yeah, let's oh, let's see what else do we have here. Hopefully this is a very expensive ice. Okay, let's bridge server. I guess. Okay, so Anogetic Void was used. Let's go to R&D now. Let's force, let's force some more races. Okay, let's use Paragon. I want a... Uh, uh, that's uh, not bad, I guess. Yeah, I will pay to trash it. I will draw one card and bravado again R&D because it, it is an unknown card. So let's go. It doesn't get rest either way. Oh. De-resting the MIC was the play there actually. Ah no, because I, I need to run R&D and that game. Alright, well, um, as you can see guys, this is a very powerful deck, you just need to know how to use it and not be me, uh, pretty much. <laughs> uh, no, but really, I really didn't study this deck at all, it seems very powerful, um, I just really don't know how to be a, a good runner, but I hope you have a lot of fun with it, 
uh, give it a try. If it wins first at any competition, I'm pretty sure that it's me who <laughs> doesn't get it, I guess. Um, but at least with these videos, I'm forcing myself to to be a little bit more acquainted with the runner playstyle. So I will see you guys uh, in two days with a new video and I will see you guys there. Goodbye.